Good evening. There's a warning. Low water levels in parts of Scotland could lead to farmers putting their prices up, hitting customers' pockets at the supermarket. Farmers are now banned from taking supplies from the River Eden in Fife. Here's our news correspondent, Jamie McIver. The warm weather got the crowds out today. This is Portobello in Edinburgh. And while many of us have been enjoying the summer, the dry spell is a worry. Not least for farmers in Fife. From today, they can't draw water from the River Eden. The Farmers' Union is worried about the potential impact of this and says some are angry with the Environment Agency, SEPA. There's a large proportion of Scottish vegetables grown in that, in that region and there's anger within growers with the, the approach that SEPA have taken. We had hoped a more measured, pragmatic approach would have been taken and they would have prioritised some crops but a total ban could lead to failure of some crops. This isn't a decision we've taken lightly. We recognise the impact on the farming community. Since April, we've been warning of the forthcoming water scarcity situation and urging farmers and other abstractors to take action to conserve water to make sure we didn't get to this point. Unfortunately, not enough has been done, and that coupled with the low rainfall means the only way we can stop long-term harm to the environment is to take this action. While there are real problems for some farmers, there's no current risk of water shortages affecting the wider public. This is one of the main reservoirs near Glasgow. So far in Scotland, there are no plans for hosepipe bans or other restrictions on how we use water at home. Reservoirs are typically about 80% full. That's normal for this time of year. But there is advice to try to use water efficiently. While for many of us a few days of good weather is something to cherish, the concerns of some farmers and the risk of higher food prices is a dark cloud in the sky. Jamie McIver, Reporting Scotland.